Hello, it's Andre. I want to show you how uh, <coughs> we will use our development workflow uh, during uh, Code Sprint uh, UA <coughs> 2014. Alongside with Drupal Camp Q, uh, I want to show you it uh, <coughs> using Rail to Apps module uh, and own fork and <coughs> make it from uh, the main repository. So first of all you <coughs> have to make it, make the fork. Uh, there is a button at the top right uh, under your account when you go to um, uh, CSUA <coughs> GitHub repo. You just have to press it and to uh, fork it under your account. Now you can uh, clone this uh, fork to your local uh, site. After obtaining a local uh, wrapper, you have to go into the folder and uh, uh, run Vagrant, Vagrant app. This command will uh, download uh, approximately one gigabyte of data uh, from internet. Uh, it will create a virtual machine with all uh, necessary libraries and uh, uh, development uh, tools for uh, working with uh, Drupal 7 and uh, the models. Uh, this task is not so quick. Uh, it will mm, continue approximately 10 or 12 uh, uh, minutes uh, depending of your internet connection and uh, speed uh, of your HDD. Why we are using Vagrant is because um, we have to be sure that uh, development environments uh, are equal uh, and not uh, dependent from uh, machine where where you are trying to work so we have to be sure that our apache is equal php versions um, uh, libraries uh, models for php and uh, environment variables too uh, vagrant give us such uh, ability okay so now our uh, vagrant cooked and we can uh, log in into virtual machine using command vagrant ssh <coughs> uh, now i will show you we have uh, uh <coughs> virtual host already uh, pre-configured for development we can just use it uh, <coughs> we are uh, from our host machine if you see that uh, web page is not accessible you have to add uh, this uh, virtual host uh, to your hosts file to your host machine sorry for tautology <coughs> now you should be able to use your uh, development environment. So you can install your Drupal with uh, 
PP profile, this profile will be used for development. Uh, or we have already pre, uh, <coughs> pre configured scripts for doing that more quickly. You should go to var 3 uh, Drupal and you can see that you have scripts uh, run sniffer SSH and reinstall SSH. You should use reinstall SSH. <coughs> Okay, after fixing the script, we can just run it, reinstall it uh, <coughs> here at one time and see that uh, we are dropping old database, creating new one and uh, running install Drupal via drush command. Okay, after some time, it's approximately uh, one minute, uh, our Drupal site already installed it. Now we can check it and use it. Pass love CSUA. Okay, so Drupal site install it. Uh, <coughs> Vagrant uh, box has pre-configured xdebug for debugging. You have to install xdebug extension for Chrome or for um, Firefox, despite your favorite browser. Uh, <coughs> uh, you have to install PHP Storm or maybe NetBeans or your favorite uh, IDE for using xdebug. It's pretty um, straightforward and uh, standard. Uh, <coughs> all uh, settings uh, will be prepared for you uh, we in our wiki. <coughs> So now we, uh, I will show you how to start development uh, <coughs> on a rel2 apps model. So this is our Drupal folder in uh, a virtual machine. We have to go to sites all models. Here you can see that we have contrib and custom and features. And contrib folder uh, <coughs> should be used for uh, saving models that uh, shouldn't be uh, scanned for errors. It's just for dependencies. Custom folder will be scanned for errors uh, at the continuous integration server. So uh, here you should put uh, the models you are working on and features is for features for maybe demo content or creating some settings for ability to test your work uh, at uh, build site at continuous integration server. So we are going to custom and we will put here relative to apps model from Drupal.org JIT clone Now we should remove JIT uh, JIT subfolder for ability to add uh, this model to GitHub we are not using JIT submodels uh, functionality here. So Git added rel to apps. JIT commit adding 
rel to apps for demo git commit Now you should git push Sorry We have to use HTTPS for ability to push with user and password or you may add uh, you may add your uh, secure uh, SSH key to the grant box and work without passwords Now uh, I will show you how to create a pull request. So uh, everything I do already done is I have pushed um, rel to apps model uh, to my own fork uh, to GitHub. It's for calling ppbot csua. You can see uh, latest commit adding rel to apps for demo, and now you should use pull request uh, button. Uh, adding rel to apps for demo, you can uh, add here some explanations about this pull request, etc. But now for demo, I will show just empty. So you can see that uh, there is an interface for making reviews. Uh, <coughs> now you should wait um, for continuous integration build um, it will uh, be five minutes to complete approximately uh, and uh, and okay here we are here we <coughs> got a comment from a continuous integration server with failed status and you can see from logs that failed is for php code sniffer item drupal at the top of the comment you can see that you have drupal standard file you can just open it up and see a full list of errors that should be fixed before you can go into uh, build site and test your changes Okay, after fixing all uh, all errors, we have to push changes to uh, pull request. You, uh, you have you should just add a new commit with sniffer fixes git push okay our changes are there here is our sniffer fixes <coughs> now we should wait for uh, yet one build from continuous integration server okay now everything is fixed from the sniffer side and uh, you can sh you can see that there is a comment with a lot of links and the last link is build site install it at this is a Drupal installation and build server and uh, it has already our model 
within but it's not enabled so we should uh, care of uh, adding it to insta uh, to build site you have to go to profiles pp pp info and add this as add it as dependency so rel to apps now we have to push to push our changes to pull request add in rail to apps to installation profile git push okay Let's check our changes. Here they are. Here the change. Now we should wait for next build for ability to see our model enable it a little bit at build site. Okay, here is a new command and new build and we are going to check our model enabled. Go into models, search for relative. Yes, our model already enabled. So uh, after this, uh, pull request is ready for review. You should uh, put a link into the uh, Skype chat uh, for your team lead or mentor for uh, review and uh, <coughs> merge. Uh, your pull request into the main uh, repository. Uh, now, after merging it to main repository, you have to prepare a patch for Drupal.org because this model uh, is uh, hosted at Drupal.org. You should go to uh, Drupal.org uh, project page with git instruction tab and to clone it in yet one time into some uh, folder uh, not in Drupal root let's clone it to now go into rel to apps folder and uh, copy your changed uh, model into this folder over old uh, versions old file versions drupal sites all models custom rel to apps all right all right all right now you can git status and you can see that here are our changes to the model now just git diff into file for example mm, sniffers fix patch okay here are our patch for drupal.org next step is to go to uh, issue queue of the model login into drupal.org title sniffers fix fill the summary and upload newly created patch. Uh, Vagrant take, takes care about uh, synchronizing uh, files from 
varvv folder from your virtual machine to your local uh, host machine so varvv csua rel2 apps here sniffer fix and we have to fill <coughs> issue metadata with mm, task priority normal needs review version and do a sign uh, the issue to yourself uh, next uh, you have to post uh, a link to the issue for uh, to to the mentor or to the Drupal chat for reviewing it at uh, Drupal.org and uh, <coughs> committing it to the uh, repository of the model. Okay, let's repeat. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, make your own fork uh, or one of the GitHub repos. Uh, it's uh, CSUA for Drupal 7 based work and CSUA for Drupal 8 based work. Next, you have to mm, uh, uh, create your Vagrant virtual machine s with Vagrant app uh, command. Uh, it's better to uh, run this command before the sprint because of uh, timing. Uh, there, uh, there will uh, there will be a lot of people at the code sprint, so uh, we have to be sure our internet connection will be fine. After making your virtual machine up and running, uh, clone your uh, clone the model uh, from the Drupal work you are trying to work on uh, into. Mm, custom folder Drupal sites all models custom <coughs> into the custom folder uh, remove uh, git mm, dot git subfolder for ability to push this model uh, into github repo don't forget you have to clone latest dev version of the model not the stable one from the uh, Drupal org uh, uh, git and afterwards you have to add your model to uh, github and uh, wait for uh, continuous integration build command uh, approximately five minutes uh, after that you mm, should fix errors if there are any uh, after that, you you should uh, make changes depending o on your task. Uh, task will be assigned to you mm, at the mm, from one of the tasks from the meta issue uh, for <coughs> selected uh, for the sprint. Uh, make commit uh, for your uh, changes. Uh, create pull request from your fork to main repository uh, wait for mm, continuous integration commit and uh, mm, <coughs> post the link to pull request to your team lead or mentor wait for their uh, comments fix uh, if there are some uh, comments uh, and uh, the next uh, step is uh, to create patch for Drupal.org. You have to uh, get latest dev version from Drupal.org of the model, uh, or write your changes to that folder and uh, create gdiff patch and upload it <coughs> into issue queue of that model for review. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the ride.